Okay, so I'm making this video to explain to you what happens when Venus goes into the second house in our birth chart. So what is the second house? The second house represents um, our personal wealth and finances, our family and the family that we came from. It represents the things that we identify with. It represents our throat and our speech. And the reason that it identifies, you know, like possessions and the things that we identify with, because you see the first house is our ascendant, you know, our, our personality. It so sort of represents us. It's our identity. And um, the second house would sort of represent the things that we identify ourselves with. We identify ourselves and our value with our family, with our with our iPhones, with our wealth, with our cars. Just the things that we sort of identify ourselves with can sort of be seen in the second house. And yeah, now Venus naturally represents love and relationships in general. If it's your seventh Lord, then it will represent um, specifically your spouse, specifically the person that you would settle down with in a marriage or a marriage-like relationship. It represents artistic stuff, beauty, women, all that good stuff that y'all probably heard and know um, a, a million times already and stuff. So when Venus goes into the second house, um, naturally you just see an amplification of the significations of the things in relation to the second house because Venus naturally rules this house. The second house is naturally um, originally ruled by Venus and Taurus. So Venus feels comfortable here and the significations of it is sort of amplified. The individual here will identify themselves with the things in relation to Venus. So one of the things that you can see is that someone could have a nice way of speaking or a very nice, attractive, pleasant voice. Someone, someone here in general, unless we see what's aspecting the seventh house and what sign, I mean, unless we see what's aspecting the second house and um, see what sign the Venus is in, you can be very frivolous with your cash. You know, what, you're, what you spend your money on. You can spend a whole lot of money on drinking and food and maybe even drugs because the second house is your throat. You know, things going through your throat and, and all that. So you can spend a lot of money on that. Since Venus represents beauty and love and, relation, and relationships in general, you could potentially either spend a lot of money, blow a lot of money on your partner, which that could probably happen with any placement of Venus. That's not really nothing special, but more so, there could be a signification on you wanting your partner to have wealth, to be financially um, sufficient. This is really the case because from the second house, Venus will aspect the eighth house, which will represent your partner's wealth, your in-laws and their their money and their possessions. So Venus being here can potentially sort of incline someone to being, you know, a gold digger. Of course, we have to see other planetary influences to really see this. But in general, Venus in the second house, you know, could naturally show someone who would probably subconsciously maybe lean towards a partner who is very financially well off or just looks like they're just doing very good you would probably desire your partner to maybe spoil you and spend a lot of money on you or you might be the one to be the one spending a lot of money and dumping a whole lot of wealth on your partner and with Venus in the second house you might meet your most of your romantic partners maybe potentially through your um for your family or something i don't know i'm just con trying to connect the dots and all that good stuff but that's short and simple that's what you would see with venus in the second house you would identify yourself with the things of relation to venus which would represent women and relationships and artistic stuff and music and more importantly you would tend to it dump maybe a lot of wealth dump a lot of your money on that since the second house represent the family that you came from potentially you came from this very musically talented artistic gifted type of family background maybe your parents sang and rapped and good at poetry and played musical instruments or maybe you just predominantly come from a household and, and a family that just has a lot of women. Um, but yes, that is what you can see in general when someone has Venus in the second house. One more thing. Venus 
you know, can represent like luxury things. So someone with Venus in the second house, they could really just prefer to have like, you know, nice, luxurious um, meals. You know, nice, luxurious food and nice, luxurious uh, liquor. So you can blow a lot of money on your food. You could probably want the top top notch, good, classy food. Um, ni nice liquor or maybe some, you know, good weed and drugs and whatever the hell you might consume. But that's what I got to say. I hope this gave you insight and clarity on what happens when you have Venus in the second house in your birth chart. And thank you for watching.